this is Uncle Momo's Music Reaction Channel, where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world. Now, I'm going into Coke Studio, and I believe this is going to be my, I want to say third one today. It could be my second one today. Now, I want to get this straight now. Now, I believe this is Coke Studio Tamil, but the title, the title says, and I'm going to say it, um, Tati Coach Jujo Bangla, right? Season three. Arnob Ali Boy, um, Yaya Ashan and Gone Ali. Now I know Arnob and Ali Boy. I'm not too sure about um. Actually, I might know about um, Yaya Ashan, but I'm not too sure about um Gone uh, Ali. Anyway, um, Tati. Let me see what it says in the description page. It goes, where the thread dance on wooden looms, fingers become nimble, storytellers of Bangla heritage. Tati um, is a Ashen who weaves fabrics whispering our, um, is it opulent culture? Their um, careless hands um, transforms the raw um, embrace of yarns into fabric that tells the story centuries of old, um, old culture of Grinnell, uh, or grandeur. The grandeur that has draped men and women for thousands of years. And I do get that. You can see it in many, many drawings and paintings and museums and everything else and whatnot. Um, and gave birth to um, Shari. Is, is that how you spell, spell it? Or is it a share? Uh, without pronouncing the E. Let me know about that. The most loved form, form of fashion where we have at the heart of our weaving is our crown jewel. Um, Jamdani and um, Sherry is a creation that traces back to at least 2,000 year old heritage. And Jamdani bull are verses of songs that are passed down from generations to generations. On the other hand, um, is it Tat? The handloom creates a rhythmic, a rhythmic melody of clanking the echoes through the villages. Each in, um, in the intricate thread becomes a verse, each vibrant uh, motif, a poem woven with the sounds of looms. Um, featuring weaver himself, um, Gonde Ali, so he's the weaver, okay. Accompanied by Arnold Swiss, the song embraces the untold artistry, the music that is fashion, the music that millions of women wear every day, the rhythmic, the rhythmic, I can never pronounce that word, rhythmic, there you go. Um, symphony is um, fused with Afro beats done on Oli uh, Boy, a musician of Nigeria whose um, whose heart is woven in um, forms into two lands together the voices create a um, harmonious uh, tapestry where the real magic of Bangla heritage will forever adorn the world wow I can't I can't wait to press play I was reading that okay 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 without further ado you know what we're here for great vocabs and a damn good video audio music Ka and you dig it! Now, season three. I love the performance, man. You make me feel that you're actually in the workshop. The summer to look at. So all the, the, the backing singers could have always been there. Seeing familiar faces. What's that stick called? Mm. 
Time to ginger, time to try, time for unity. Every step, every melody, in our perfect harmony. Nani muna gige me owa e beji ma. Na only me and you fit make this world move jeje. Lovely. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I love the way how it's woven in together. It's brilliant. The authenticness of the instruments. You're beautiful. You know that. talking about thinking of I do. so that was coach studio season three um bangla but i think it's tamel you know what i'm saying like oh i was looking for i saw arnold was right there in my face i saw him but i was looking for aravu for some strange reason i thought aravu was going to be there i don't ask me why or how i don't know so i was seeing arnold but i was looking for aravu thinking uh, um but saying arnold's name even though he was staring me right in, my, in front, in front, right in front of my face. So apologies for that. I do know who he is. <laughs> Love the song. Love the song. It was so gentle. It was exactly everything what I said in reading in the description page. It just brought to light. It just brought to life. I loved the, the intro where just a subtle amount of instruments, but more was, the, the, the thing that was more in your face was the, the working sounds of, of a, um, a, a, a seamstress in a, a weaver's place. So the, cl the clunk clicking and everything else. And like the way how it was incorporated into um, the music, it was really, really lovely. Like that was the timer, the, um, the metronome, so to speak. And then when the bass came in, it just carried this whole song. It gave it a different kind of dimension. And I felt that the bass line carried it all the way through and that's what made it easier for um, the whole song to slightly change into an afro beat and come out of an afro beat because the bass line was the the um, the, the, um, the orchestra uh, with the conductor there you go the bass line was the conductor so it was it, normally where you get the the, the drums are normally are the uh, the conductors you know holding that tempo but it seemed to me it was the bass line that was holding the tempo structure all the way through um, and like I said that made it much more easier for the Afro beat to, to to blend in and blend out. Love the way how they how they done that. Actually, it was really really lovely. The whole thing. I, look, if you do more of that, wow, because you'll be at the forefront of 
what everybody else should be doing on Coke Studio, as well as bringing their vibes. And I mean, at the moment, Coke Studio, um, apart from themselves, are um, amalgamating the old generations with the new generations. And um, they're coming back with that. I mean, they. T I think last two seasons, it was more about the younger generations, but I've, I'm, I've been complaining about it. Where's the older generations? Where's the mature people that, the mature generations that was, that, you know, that lead for the younger generations to come through. So I believe that um, a number of their new seasons now are now doing that. But I believe, Coke Shudra Bangladesh, you're, I believe you're doing more of the international collaborations. Uh, and it's nice to see because in the first instance, you was doing that anyway with the substance of music. You was bringing Western music and doing some kind of a fusion with your music. And it was, and it was lovely. And it still is lovely. But it's what's even more better is just to bring the artist over. <laughs> and that's what you're doing. So that's fine by me. And for that reason, I salute you. Boom! <laughs>